Alright, now you want to do one? Yes. Go. Franny, stop! I don't like that one. Franny! Franny, stop! It's been, it's been, I know, it's great, but you guys, we've been quarantined for how long now? I need, just need a haircut. I need a haircut. I'm going to get one this weekend. <laughs> All right, let's start the show. Let's start the show, crickets. Let's start the show. Okay. We in the house. Come on. Tonight, join Jim and his guests. Dwayne Johnson. David Diggs. Musical guest, the head and the heart. And the legendary Roots crew. It's the Tonight Show at Home edition. We in the house, y'all. And now, here's Jimmy. Welcome to the Tonight Show at Home edition, everybody. Let's get some news. Happy Friday. Guys, New York's stay-at-home order was scheduled to end today, but Governor Cuomo just extended it until June 13th. For New Yorkers, it felt like when a Zoom meeting is about to end and then someone asks a question. Uh, well, I'm... We're almost. We're almost there. That's right, New York's stay-at-home order has been extended until June 13th. Asked why June 13th, Cuomo said, because there's no way we could stop crowds from celebrating Flag Day on June 14th. Mayor de Blasio said that New York City beaches are just not ready to open. But if you want to experience New York City beaches, just throw your towel over some shattered beer bottles and an old cigarette butts, and then let a bunch of pigeons come over and eat your food. I read that McCarran Airport in Las Vegas now has vending machines with face masks and hand sanitizer and other PPE products. It'll be just like those Best Buy vending machines, except people will use these. Hey, uh, honey, before we get on the flight, do you, do you have any monster cables to go into HDMI port? What? Honey, could you give me 6,000 quarters. Some TV news, CBS announced that they are airing a Grease sing-along in June. You can tell TV networks are desperate for content because right after that, CBS is airing a Grease 2 sing-along. I've never, never seen Grease 2. No way. Never seen it. It's not Grease 1. Nope. I just refused to, I just, I had so much fun with Grease, I'd leave it at that. Some people love Grease 2. Some people love Grease 2, yeah, sure. Some people like Godfather 3. True. Yeah. Some, some do. I saw that Disney Theatrical Productions announced that Frozen will not reopen on Broadway after the pandemic. Uh, that's probably a good call. After months of quarantine, even kids are like, oh, let it go, let it go. I love Frozen. Yeah. Huga. Yeah. Oh, so many talented people in that play. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe we can get them to do Huga. They were supposed to come on our show. If you don't know the Broadway version of Frozen, it's great. But there's a song on there called Huga. That's uh, really funny. Um, so maybe we can get them to do that for, I don't know. Anyway, we loved it. Uh, check this out. Netflix is making a new movie starring Mark Wahlberg as a, quote, blue collar 007. I'm in. The movie is one hour of him saving the world and another where he just smokes behind a Home Depot. That sounds exciting. Uh, sw- <laughs> Can I have a uh, Samuel Adams? Don't shake it or stir it. Swimsuit companies are now coming out with trikinis, which are two-piece bathing suits and a matching face mask. Take a look at this. Interesting, interesting. But if you're a little more modest and want to be extra safe, then they have this one piece. <laughs> I think that looks. I think that looks great and fashionable. I read that because of quarantine and everyone staying home, pants sales have rapidly declined. That's right, nobody's buying pants. And I think the industry is just getting a little desperate. Take a look at this commercial I just saw. What up, peeps? You know what the dope new trend is that's straight fire? That's right, pants. Pants. It's a new world, but pants are the OG and so dope. That's totally dope. So say bye, Felicia, to pajamas and straight up chillax in all the lit styles, like jeans. Yes. Corduroy. Yellow. Chinos. Lit AF. And khakis. 
Jake from State Pants. Don't be a noob and buy shorts. Eat pants are the goat. Paid for by the National Pants Council. I'll buy them. I'm in. P -p 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 pants. Listen to this. I read that grocery stores are now facing a temporary mushroom shortage. When he heard this, Mario was like, This is no good. The mushrooms are my Viagra. And finally, I heard about a woman in England who closed her flower shop because of the virus but moved 12,000 plants inside her house to keep her business going. Yep, 12,000 plants, or as Seth Rogen calls that, a weekend. Ah, ha, ha, that's our monologue right there. It's time for thank you notes, everybody. Hey guys, today's Friday. Did you see when I sent out my personal... <laughs> today's Friday... Today's Friday, and that's usually when I send up my <laughs> my thank you notes, and I send out <laughs> and anyway, so I'm gonna send out my weekly thank you notes right now if I could. Okay, ready? All right, here we go. Can I get some thank you note writing music, please? No. Yes. Thank you, Shanghai Disneyland, for reopening this week. It's a lot of fun until Pinocchio stands out front saying, "It's totally safe in here," and his nose grows three feet. Next one. Thank you, people who got into the tiny house trend for a thousand percent, regretting that decision right now. Good. Go. Thank you, shortages of meat and eggs, for explaining McDonald's newest breakfast sandwich, the McBread. And music, please. Thank you. Yep. Tim Kaine for wearing a bandana at a hearing and looking like the leader of a motorcycle gang called the Hell's Uncles. Thank you, Uber, buying Grubhub for being this week's second most confusing phrase for grandparents after Quibi, now Roku compatible. Go. Thank you, Travel Books, on my bookshelf for letting me know the best tapas restaurant in Portugal in 1997. Uh, thank you, Curbside Pickup. Yep. Go. Uh, music, please. Uh, thank you, Curbside Pickup and Drive-In Movie Theaters. Now all I need is to surf down a dinosaur tail to recreate the opening of the Flintstones. <laughs> Thank you, Slow Rollout, for describing both the reopening of businesses and how I get out of bed over the course of four hours each day. Go. Music, please. Thank you, Self Care, for sounding much nicer than eating Cheetos in the bath. There you go, everybody. That's our thank you notes. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for really helping me out. That's time for it to go play now. Thank you so much. Hey guys, we have a great show tonight. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is on the show tonight. Titan Games, Dwayne Johnson in the house. Uh, we also have David Diggs, who talks about the new Hamilton coming on Disney+, Plus, plus Snowpiercer. He's got a lot to talk about. Uh, and also, music is the head and the heart. Just a talented group. I love those guys. Out of Seattle, I believe. Um, guys, uh, today we have something to talk about. Walgreens.com, Red Nose Day. I, I, I wrote this. I was thinking about maybe faking like the, one of the girls drew it, but uh, they just didn't feel it. They drew wish.org for Dwayne. And I said, can't you just put some color into it? Because it was just pencil. And so they, I don't know if you could see Winnie put blue pencil over the other pencil. It's still pencil. It's Friday. I understand, but still. It's like, anyways, I, I drew this. Walgreens.com forward slash red nose day. It looks like Winnie's. It does, yeah. But I, well... She learns from the best, you know. Uh, Red Nose Day. You know I love Red Nose Day. Um, Walgreens is continuing its tradition. by uh, If you make the purchase, you also get a digital Red Nose. So um, do that. If you go to the website, uh, it will help children in need. It fights uh, poverty in children. And uh, Walgreens said that for the first $100,000 tonight, 
they will match $100,000. If you make a donation tonight to Red Nose Day and get that digital Red Nose, they will match up to $100,000. Thank you so much, Walgreens. I do, do appreciate that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I, I notice a lot of times when people do these interviews on um, Zoom and different things for shows, there's one thing they all have in common, and I think you'll agree with me when you see this next video. Check it out. So you go on a TV and you want to look smart. You can stand in front of walls or maybe some art. But that is not the vibe. That is not the right look. What you really need behind you is a shelf full of books. Show us your books. Bill Gates, show us your books. Anderson Cooper, show us your books. Gloria Stefan, point the camera at your head, but also those books. They make you look intelligent. They make you seem astute. You could be director of the Smart Guy Institute. No one is a sharp at you. You run them all in circles. You're basically an item with a dash of Steve Urkel. Show us your books. Marco Rubio, show us your books. Michelle Obama, show us your books. Roger Goodell, don't matter what you say, just show us those books. So line up all your volumes on the law of South Korea. When you gotta know something, you just use Wikipedia. These things are for show, you're no biblio lover. In this particular case, we judge a book by its cover. Show, show us your, your books. books. Madeline Albright, show, show us, us your books. books. Bernie Sanders, show, show us, us your books. books. Jimmy Fallon, we're gonna make it through this. Just show us those books. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said... And it's on and on and on.